r slash ask reddit by redmond ets what industry is a lot shadier than it seems nursing homes owners need a yacht one nurse for 50 old people it is recycling a lot of stuff gets shipped to asia or just dumped in a landfill avocado farms most of the farms in central america are taken over by the cartel because of how much money is in selling avocados the wig industry there are pretty much only two wig makers in the world and they repackage the wigs according to what company you buy from so a beyonce at one company might be another company's auburn blonde also when i worked for a company we had a lifetime guarantee on the wigs so people would have it for a few years then return it all we did was wash it in an industrial washing machine restyle it then sell it as new most consultancies it's very rare you get a specialized service they come up with a common method for doing things apply it to most projects and charge thousands a day for it the maritime industry most of the big companies do things by the book and treat crews well because they're afraid of lawsuits and unions but many smaller mom and pop companies break laws and violate safety regulations with reckless abandon because they're not as visible and can stay under the radar so to speak it's very common for a small company to ask a captain or crew to do something illegal and dangerous in order to increase profit and for the captain or crew to comply out of fear of losing their jobs and that's just the US maritime industry. Sailors from poorer nations who work on ships are often fed little more than rice and cheap ramen for months at a time and paid pennies for their backbreaking work. I love running tugs for a living, but the industry as a whole is rife with shady business. Hearing aids. Lots of unqualified people selling hearing aids with a 500% markup or more. Cars for kids. The charity with the annoying jingle, uses all of the proceeds from the charity to fund a sister organization called Aura, whose stated goal is to spread ultra-orthodox Judaism and convert Jews into hazardism. Forestry. It's funny because, jokes aside, forestry can actually be kinda shady. Big corporations planting vast monocultures and destroying ecosystems so they can offset their carbon and greenwash their brands is the perfect answer to this question. Give it like 50 years and it won't be such a secret anymore with the side effects from it. Clothing donation bins. It all gets sorted and separated and sold. The trash gets donated at the very very bare minimum required. 12 years ago my old warehouse landlord had a 50 million dollar business just sorting the clothes. Vintage designer stuff got sold for top dollar. Medium quality sold in bulk. Crap quality sold in bales by weight. Garbage quality donated. They had 20 employees just sorting belts he told me lol. Same goes for book donations. Better world books. Thrift books. It all gets sold on Amazon and the trash recycled or exported to third world countries. Less than 5% of profits got donated and since they were non-profits executive pays were sky high and corporate profits beat zero universities and colleges academia is corrupt and shady as fudge let's cover a few of the key points the tenure system is ridiculous toe the line say the right things don't piss off alumni or big donors and you become almost impossible to fire adjunct professors are paid peanuts and the use of adjuncts is becoming far more common tenure sucks but so does adjunct the politics are ridiculous especially at the most elite institutions you better fall in line or you're done. Tuition has shot up exponentially due to federally subsidized student loans. The shameless plunging of students into crushing debt is a disgrace. Their willingness to not tell students that majoring in anything that ends with studies is a road to economic ruin is disgusting. Endowments that could be used to reduce tuition are not and the most elite universities have essentially become loosely regulated hedge funds. Let's not get into athletics. The highest paid state employee in most states is usually a football or basketball coach. Most of these coaches make far more than the president of the United States. They also get incredible payouts when they get fired. Disruption cannot come soon enough to academia. The enrollment cliff is gonna sting and lots of colleges and universities are gonna disappear. The mattress business might have more layers than you think. 
Despite the shadows, there's always room for bright spots. I think about this every time I pass by a huge mattress store with nobody in it how do they stay open. I work at a mattress store, I don't always make sales every day but when I do the sales are in the thousands, and the margins are high. Funeral business. Guilting little old ladies into spending money they don't have to give their husbands a funeral they deserve. Had to deal with them once and it was downright shocking the way they talked. It was like one of those prank shows, but without cameras or a prank. The addiction treatment industry. Trust me, there are some good program, but a lot of very greedy, evil people that capitalize on providing you treatment, then you relapsing, and getting you into the cycle of treatment relapse treatment. Very shady. So basically every industry is shady. Yes, because they are run by people, people become shady real quick when there's a buck to be made. That's all folks. Thank you for watching. If you like videos like this one, why not like and subscribe for more? Have a nice evening.